Recall that there are two properties of matter, the chemical property and the physical property. The chemical property describes how a substance changes into a completely different substance. On the other hand, physical property can be observed without changing the identity of the substance. Now, physical properties can be categorized into two. Bruh. Intensive and extensive. So what is the difference? Wait a minute! Intensive property is the physical property of matter that does not change as the amount of matter changes. So for example, temperature. Let's say I have 500 milliliters of 25 degrees Celsius of water. Now, I decided to transfer half of it into another beaker. So I will have 250 ml. But the temperature is still 25 degrees Celsius. Therefore, the temperature doesn't depend on the size or mass of a sample. This table shows other examples of intensive properties. Now, take note of specific volume. So it is not the same as volume. We will discuss this later. Now, extensive property is the physical property of matter that depends on the sample size. Examples include mass, volume, size, weight, and length. So if you notice, if you get the ratio of mass and volume, you will have the density, which is an intensive property. Remember, the ratio between two extensive properties is an intensive property. Okay, so let's go back to specific volume. What is the difference between specific volume and volume? Volume is the amount of space that a substance or object occupies. On the other hand, specific volume is the volume occupied by a unit of mass of a material. So specific volume is the reciprocal of density. The formula is volume over mass. Again, density is intensive, so this one is an intensive property too. So how do you tell intensive and extensive properties apart? So what you need to do is to take two identical samples and put them together. If this adds up, then it's an extensive property. If the property is unchanged, it's an intensive property. For example, 5 kilograms of feathers. If you double it, you will have 10 kilograms of feathers. Therefore, it is an extensive property. So remember, extensive property is additive for subsistence. To summarize, extensive property depends on the sample size. Intensive property does not depend. Good job!